Hello and welcome to Bass Guitar Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and you've just been watching Ryan Barsby demonstrating the new Glenn Hughes Signature Crush Bass 50 from Orange Amplifiers. This amp is a 50 watt Class D compact combo with a single 12 inch speaker. The amp comes with 3 band EQ featuring bass, treble and a semi parametric mid control with adjustable frequency, master volume and gain and it also features a blend knob for combining clean and overdriven signals. Extra features include a cab sim loaded headphone output, an aux in, effects loop and built in chromatic tuner. Weighing in at just under 15 kilos and finished in a deep purple Tolex, the amp has an RRP of £249. Let's have a listen to Ryan demonstrating some more tones from the Crush Bass 50 and then please join me afterwards for our thoughts. <laughs> The purple vinyl certainly makes a striking first impression when you open the box, although the vinyl itself doesn't quite feel as thick or durable as some of Orange's other amplifiers. At 15 kilos, the amp is easily luggable, but not so light that it feels flimsy. It's a nice compromise between portability and solidity. It's not just with the purple theme that this amp pays homage to Glenn Hughes. But the sonic signature of the amp does as well, with a clean, punchy, dry tone with plenty of bottom end, especially when you consider the amp's small stature. The vintage sounding overdrive circuit also contains a solid amount of low end, and the ability to blend the two sounds together allows you to mix in as much or as little grit as you need, 
while still retaining the clarity of the clean tone. The EQ section holds few surprises, but the addition of a frequency control for the mids does allow you to easily choose how far forward in the mix you sit. Ryan found the highs to be a little muted and thin, which he attributed partially to the solid state technology, but also to the speaker position, finding more presence when placing the amp off of the floor. Although aimed at an affordable price point, Orange have included some additional features, such as the chromatic tuner and Cabsyn emulated headphone output, both of which will be of use to players at home, although the positioning of the tuner might not be much use in a live situation. A separate input gain would have been welcomed by Ryan as it would have allowed him to dial in a clean tone to his individual instruments, but he noted the amp handled the outputs from a variety of bases as well. Despite its diminutive size, the Bass Crush 50 does punch above its weight and should easily compete with an acoustic drummer in the rehearsal room and on small stages. The lack of DI out will limit its use as a backline on louder stages, but in combination with a stage DI for the front of house, you could use this amp for your onstage monitoring. If you are a rock bassist, vintage or modern, the Glenn Hughes Bass Crush 50 is certainly tailored for you. The rich mid-range and powerful low end lends itself perfectly to the classic overdriven and British bass tones of the 1970s and 80s that Orange are known for. Whilst there are a few shortcomings, the lack of input gain and DI out, and the slightly tacky feeling toad legs, these are easily overlooked when you consider this powerful and toneful package retails for £250, providing a fitting and affordable tribute to one of the UK's most rocking of musicians. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Bass Guitar Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos. And Ryan and I look forward to seeing you next time.